Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Swan Song campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the literal hardest difficulty settings uh, possible. And we are just about in career mode um, and uh, reach the second solar system. So that's it. Uh, we are in your Kryn, which sounds a little bit like the... Ukraine? Maybe? Well, that was a bad punchline. Anyways, so first things first, I really would like to work for our pirates because the whole the whole playthrough is pirate themed and I like that idea. So let's start with it. We can get quite a bit of uh, reputation, but even more importantly, we can get 20 salvage. So that sounds great. And all we need to do is we need to do a assassination, which typically involves us fighting one or two diff uh, enemy lances. The fact that it is two skulls concerns me a bit because that can eventually mean we're up against pretty nasty opponents. Good, here we go. The best part about it is it is going to happen on a tundra world. You gotta love the cold ice planets. So, good luck and good hunting. We got a target here, potentially for the local noble, and there is a supporting enemy force. Let's maybe start with the supporting force. Get some high ground here. One thing that I learned in this game is never take the direct way because that's usually what the what the map designers assumed you would do. Moving to position. Moving out. Instead, we're moving alongside the very edge of the map. Abusing our first turn, where we have quite a few extra blips. And so far all I'm seeing is one medium max, so it's not that bad. Good to go. Awaiting orders. Let's Waiting for orders. start with Mox here. Can he even reach the target? No, he can't. For orders. Good. And instead we're using the Vindicator. On my way. Phoenix Hawk, interesting. Phoenix Hawk will require high ground and are typically ambush mechs. So it's interesting to see that someone would use the Phoenix Hawk to send it in first. Wow, head, head, head hit? That was great. That would have been a kill right there acknowledged if the guy wouldn't have been in in full stance look at that 40 points of damage Roger that. good to go good fire starter jumps up that. and we see an enforcer and a hunchback hunchbacks tend to be dangerous if i recall correctly their standard loadout has an ac20 and that in itself is a problem ac20 is super high damage low range so if that's the case we got to be careful and potentially focus the hunchback first what can i do for you Good. I would like to stay out of trouble. High ground here is good enough for our sniper. Yeah, we can just go on reserve for now. The enforcer misses, so that's good. Which gives us more time to work on the Phoenix Hawk. Up. 
Good. Bradford. Precise shot. Shall I just take the head? Why not? It's a pretty small chance. But might as well. If we were to hit, the Phoenix Hawk would have immediately died. Oh wow. And there was a pretty sizable shot. 48. Good to go. Whatever it has shot us, Commander. it hit like a truck. Wow, that was a massive hit. Roger that. Reporting critical hit. Good, let's check if the Hunchback has the AC-20. No, but boy oh boy, this guy has a lot of medium lasers. That is a brawler. And I do not wish to, to be hit by him. It, rather. Good. Can we find a normal movement where we're able to hit that Phoenix Hawk? Potentially not. So what I'm going to do is we're just going on reserve. The Phoenix Hawk can try to take a shot. We still have three blips. Yeah, it didn't work. Which is what I was hoping for. Good, let's try this again. Critical hit, Commander. Waiting for orders. We're staying on a high range. Roger that. And we'll just snipe these guys down. Good to go. Lily will have the pleasant job to Engaging tank Duncan. all of them. The Phoenix That's Hawks almost completely down. Luckily with the jump jets, Lily should be fine for now. Commander? Yes, Commander. Confirmed. Good. Vindicator moves in. Let's finish the Phoenix Hawk. Confirmed. There we go. One down, three to go. So far the fight is still working in our favor. Holy shit, another hit for 48? What is this guy packing? Bradford moves up into the woods and continuing with an enforcer on unsteady terrain. We're good, we're still good. Lily is tanking it. Let's hit the Enforcer. We're continuing with Focus Fire. I feel that that is the way to go here. Good to go. Oh, an AC-10 on the Enforcer. That guy also has an AC-10, so 
We're actually facing two AC tents. Here we go. Billy moves up. I do not think that the extra laser will make much of a difference. But we're okay. Right, we can we can keep it down just for one more round. The heat is pretty intense. All right. Standing by. Move order received. Electric moves up. Affirmative. Oh damn! I oh, I misfired. I wanted to go for the other enforcer. Well, for a moment I did not uh, see aye, that aye. they were actually ch uh, changing places. Oh, too bad. Good. We're continuing yeah. with focus fire. Copy that. Not the end of the world. But yeah, we could have. Can't take much more of this. We could have focused more on the enforcer. Waiting for orders. Very good. Enforcer takes some more damage. Still got four blips. That should be good enough. Let's give them a turn. Damn it, that AC-10 hurts. Like a lot. Receiving you. Awaiting orders. Let's find a good spot. This one here looks decent. Moving decent out. enough to move back. And just continue hitting the guy. Large laser is down. Damage. That is good. It's a lot of his aggressive potential gone. AC-10 missed. So Lily is doing exactly what she's Ready supposed to, which is tanking. We're staying in the forest. Bradford here. Firing. Maximizes uh, the damage. And that enforcer is... Sort of done. Yeah, we're now taking damage on the Vindicator. We gotta. Armor breach. Internal damage. We gotta move the Vindicator back. All right. Also takes some damage, but really not a lot. Waiting for orders. Piece of cake. Panther moves up. Firing full complement on enemy. And oh, we impaired, but we did That's not it. kill the guy. Lily cannot dish out enough damage. She is just a distraction at this point. Hey, watch the paint, pal. Yes, Commander. All right. Right leg. Mm. 
Moving over here. We're going into vigilance mode. And let's hit the hunchback. Mainly because the stray shots also will take away one blip from the enforcer. The one that's almost down. We're being slowly but surely pushed back and we don't have enough DPS to really counteract them. Bradford moves in. I copy. Just trying to deal some solid damage. Couldn't really turn him in in a better spot. That's a good hit. Ooh, wow, that was almost a kill. Commander? Got it. Commencing alpha strike. Good, we're hitting the guy. It is almost overheated. Everybody here on the map has some sort of issue. Most of uh, the participants are either overheated, cannot really participate in the fight anymore. We only have a small laser, so he's really not... A force to be reckoned with. The Hunchback, on the other hand. All Standing by. Is a severe problem. Confirmed. Vindicator moves up. Firing a full salvo. Shoots the Hunchback into the rear. And we're like, at what? Good to go. Not perfect, but if we can deal 12 points of damage, we will kill it. Right, Commander. That's what I was hoping for. That's Stand well worth uh, the damage that we're now going to take. Ready for orders. Copy that. Redford protects his rear. Getting some extra defense going. I copy. Yeah, minus 40% damage reduction. Not really. Those pilots are higher level uh, than we Reporting as well. Heavy damage. So he has multi shot, for instance. Yes, Commander. Location confirmed. Moving up to the Enforcer. Firing a full salvo. Sensors impaired, that's good. In coordinates. Bradford continues to move back. Copy that. And we're continuing to fire, but that one didn't really work out well. Time All right. Lily moves up. Roger, Commander. Trying to get into the back of the Enforcer. Internal structure damage. Indicator right leg. Meaning if we show the left leg. 
We should be fine. Affirmative. Confirm. Target's taken a critical hit. Still trying to uh, to kill us, but since our uh, rear is well protected, there is not much that he can do. Not at this point. Reporting. Minimal damage. Waiting for orders. On my way. 66 potentially too much for us to kill 50 uh, 15 50 uh, most likely not going to kill it commander that on the other hand could be a level strike Everything I've got. Losing armor. Wow. We're taking a beating. He's down to 20 hit points from his center. Firing. And most of his armor is gone, so that's interesting. So we're showing our rear because that one is still pretty much intact. Redford is taking some more damage. But yeah, overall, we're holding on by a threat. We're just evading their shots. Good to go. And Lily could right, actually Commander. kill this guy. Got it. Well, the AC-10 is gone. Critical hit. Ready for order. Position confirmed. I gonna Fantastic. Target Sniped him right into his back. Good. We got a melee enforcer who is trying to get close to us. Only thing that we need to do is not let that happen. Engaging with target. Commander. Copy that. Engaging target. Fantastic. Scored a critical hit. We have knocked it down. Wow, that engagement was hard, and that's only the supporting enemy forces. Holy shit. Commander. Moving to position. The game is actually telling me that there is yet another engagement that's waiting for us. I'm going to give them the big bump. No retreat. Tangle down. A medium mech. Okay. Okay. We're going to tank with Firestarter. Uh, Cisada? That's a pretty bad mech. Not going to lie. Got it. It's potentially the worst, one of the worst, if not the worst, 
What? It's top five worst mechs in the entire game. It's a medium mech that is incredibly fast, but uh, has such a high caliber engine that it does not have any tonnage left for weapon. Standing by. Which is a terrible idea in the in the BattleTech universe. Good moving over in order to get a flank. But as long as we are only showing our front, we should be fine. Primary target damage, Commander. Aye, aye. Roger that. Good, we got a large laser. At least we can contribute something from uh, from afar. Fantastic. I figured that that might happen. That's typically happening when they are aware that they cannot win. Right, Commander. So what we want to do is we want to dish out Here enough damage go. potentially on the legs. Yep, almost there. Yeah, what can I do you for? To kill this guy. Coordinates received. All weapons are go. Aye, aye. Heading out. Good. We can afford another medium laser. And what I really would like to do is hit the leg. Target acquired. Well, Reporting critical hit. we did not yep. hit the leg. Not yet. Moving to position. Target confirmed. Both of the legs are severely impacted. And you can see, like, it's super fast. It's a problem with the Cisada. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. Are you kidding me? Fifteen percent chance to hit. Don't want to mess up the mission just because Targeting enemy six. he finally got away. That would be so disappointing. Something I can do. Consider it done. I'm gonna make some trash. Nope. They're really good at running away, believe me. Gone. So we lost our AC2 ammunition. Commander. And oh wow, he is fast. Holy shit. Location confirmed. On the move. Yeah, we're sprinting, but that guy is just crazily fast. Good to go. Can we somehow stop him? Potentially need to go all out and see if we can. Ten hit points. Yeah, we. Uh, if we hit a leg, 
with anything that would be fantastic. Systems recycling for another quarter. No problem. Really low chance shots. Got the angle. Taking the shot. We got one more turn no in the denial zone. Oh boy, that is disappointing. Ugh. Oh boy, that is disappointing. We fought like super hard. It was a pretty tough engagement. And all we are getting is like one piece. We could we could have almost gotten an entire enforcer. Oh. At least we got a couple of medium lasers out of it. Well, thank you, game. Instead of 25 items, we're down to 4 items. And I was making fun of the guy. I, I should have just moved closer. The one th thing that Cisaitas can do really well is run away. And he has absolutely proven that he's majestic in doing that. Alright, three days. And three days. Gotta suck it up. That's like six days of basically waiting here. But we gotta repair. Cool, we got a couple of flash points. One up here. That would allow us... Uh, two and a half uh, is a bit too difficult. This one here is a fantastic flash point. I potentially will... Um, we potentially will make our way here. Because that one gives a light mech a raven which is a really fun mech to play with so we're potentially going to do that flashpoint first and down here is another flashpoint with a rather heavy mech but we don't have the tonnage to do that yet um that's the thumper uh, mech but oh, our lance is not strong enough to do that yet so that's not bad. Fantastic. Reaper is now out of action for 18 days. Thankfully, we got Hogbite back, but we're burning days. I really don't like that. In the hiring hall, are there any other prospects? No, not really. Okay, cool. Good. So, since we're already half an hour in, let's just take a look at our Mech Warriors real quick. Redford has earned Tactics 3. Good to go. Lily definitely has earned Piloting 3. Order. Aye, aye. Waiting. Got something you want done? And that brings us to an outlook for next session where we could follow our uh, pirates. But I think two stars for now with these starting lances was plenty. Or we're going to do kind of a one and a half star mission. I'm still requiring more salvage. That one here would be fantastic. Escort mission for a million. But that's against the pirates, so it's not going to fly. Destroy a base. That's not bad either. I think we can start with that. Highlands destroy a base. Seems like a decent uh, mission. But that is something for uh, the next time. For now, we're ending today's uh, session. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll uh, see each other in two days.
If you enjoyed the content, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. Bye bye.